All right, so Charlie, you went out. He traveled to Maryland to purchase this 1986 Ford Bronco 2. And he, he went all the way out there to save $1,000. What was the total purchase price of the vehicle? 1900 So you could have found the same vehicle here for 2900 No, no. I looked at one that was 3000 here. Uh-huh. And uh, that one, nice interior, nice radio, mm -hmm. seemed to work mm -hmm. perfectly, mm -hmm. no rust. Mm -hmm. You rented a car to go out there. Mm -hmm. uh, you got it. The brakes were shot on it. You took it anyways, though. You said, you know what? I mean, brakes don't work. Who needs brakes? It's not a big deal. It's a more can it can it go forward? Which you, you could. drove. Uh, you tried to get it back home. You couldn't make it home. You call the guy. You go, hey, dude, the brakes are shot on this thing. Mm -hmm. I can't even make it home. He goes, quit calling me. Yeah, his, <laughs> his attitude changed. He was a very friendly guy and. Until he got my money, and then he didn't want to talk to me anymore. It worked when I had it. That's what yes, he said. That's, what, that's his quote. It worked <laughs> when I had it and hung up. So we couldn't go on the freeways either. We're going all back roads. Yeah, it doesn't do hills that well. <laughs> or like night or rain. You know? <laughs> There's a couple of things you can't, you can't do with it. So you, you had to leave it in Pittsburgh. The, that shop never fixed it. You had to then pay for a tow to get it from Pittsburgh to here. Yes. Um, you had to order parts, so it seems to me now maybe vintage I'm, parts, yeah. The, 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 the this thousand dollars savings, I don't know if all thousand dollars have been eaten up, but close to it. Yeah, real close. Um, all right. So, is there any update for your Ford Bronco too? Uh, yeah, I think it was Monday or Tuesday, maybe even, or Tuesday. I got the phone call. It's ready to be ready to up. ready to roll. Re let's go. The brakes are fixed. The brake boosters in. I go, I pick it up. So this is the first time I really got to see it in the daytime, and I've started noticing a couple strange things about this car. All right. Kind of strange things. Um, number one thing I noticed so far is the the seat that I'm in right now, oh it's so rusted that it's attached with wood. Holy sh I'm not sure in what way, but like some sort of a lumber is underneath the seat. <laughs> Pretty cool. It's like a, a rocking chair. Other than that, I couldn't close the back door, so this light's on. So I'm not sure what I need to do, but I think I might have broke that. Damn it. Gas gauge, that's that's a no. That's fine. Just gotta just gotta pay attention when you fill it up. Probably fill it up every other day. What? The heat. It's not a good sound. It's, it's not a good heat, heat sound. Oh, that's the sound that the heat makes. Ow! Let's pop that heat on. That's oh my god. The lawnmower engine. Got a heater that sounds like a vibrator. <laughs> pop on the old radio. Okay, that doesn't sound great. Basically coming from one speaker now. In the back. Frankly, not the best smell either, if I'm to be honest. Kind of like, um, there's like a seafood kind of smell and just like a feces kind of smell. It's almost like a fish died of a diarrhea poisoning or something a couple years ago, and then we just kind of left it in here. But the, other than that, I mean, the interior is beautiful. A little yeah, droopy. Like a, almost like a full diaper up here. I can't this believe, a I cannot a believe you bought this. I mean, this is just... Uh, I brought it to my dad's place. He said, that's a buy. That's a perfect winter beater that probably won't be able to go in the snow, mm -hmm. but whatever. 